welcome to this week Parambling. My name is Agnes. So in this week Parambling, I'm going to talk about this pen, which is one of the pens from my wish list. So I never reveal my wish list because I kind of like, I wish I had all the pen, the fountain pen in the world. But of course, nobody can have that much pen since we don't have that much time. Okay, so the pen is this one elite and i believe if you get your from america side or the uk side it will be e95s i believe that the naming was different due to parker's pen but that's all i know okay so the one the model that i got is the burgundy silver or gold uh colored and they have another variation which is the all black with gold trip so it's a very simple pen and it is a very pocket pen it is only a little bit shorter i think from pro gear slim and of course it is still longer than Kaweco. i'm gonna bring them in for you to for a size comparison Okay, so I'm going to move this one out. So this one is Pro Gear Slim. And we have the Elite pen here. As you can see, it is quite a similar profile. So if you have Pro Gear Slim, then you have this. You have a similar pen to compare. And if you have Kaweco, this is Kaweco. So if I put them aligned at the top there is about uh 1.5 centimeter apart let me get my ruler yeah around 1.5 centimeter okay so it is considered as a pocket pen since it is pocketable but of course if you really want it to be pocketable it is Kaweco that is the most famous one now for me is i prefer elite to be a pocket pen for that one very reason which is the capping style now if you own Kaweco you know that in order to open you need to twist open so it is a twist cap but for elite because it is a snap cap it is much more easier for those on the go where you need your pen to be pulled up uncap and then right some people prefer to just keep with the twist or the twist uh, yeah the twist type because some people may say it is more secure so each two is on and both have its own advantage now i'm gonna take this pen away because this is the main star today now for me is i like this pen as a pocket pen number one because of the capping mechanism right number two even though it is a pocket pen which you saw that it is almost the same but once you put a cap at the end it becomes a very pocketable sorry a very reasonable length of pen i'm going to show you this diagonally okay so it's a very i don't have a big pen i mentioned before my pen is quite small Mm, I think I have my ruler here. So the width of my palm is only like less than 8 centimeter. That's it. So I don't have a very large palm. Uh, I don't have a long finger as well. Some lady they have like longer and skinnier finger but I don't. Mine is chubby and short okay that's how i will explain my my thing my palm 
as you can see. All right. So this is the inexpensive end of the affordable side of um what is that gold nib okay it is a 14 karat gold nib and it's by pilot if you own any pilot you know that pilot nib is a pleasure to write with it doesn't matter if it's a 14 karat gold or it's 18 karat gold or it's just a normal stainless steel pen their nib is a pleasure to write with okay so let's do a writing sample yeah so i have a rhodia paper here and i'm gonna bring my mic close to where the pen is so let you hear the asmr So a few seconds of ASMR and you have noticed, if you notice, it is quite smooth and not so much feedback. Um, I got this come uh, writing as I like, not too much ink. And the ink that I'm currently have is Yamabudo. So Pilot. Hiro Shizuku Sorry Yamabudo okay. So it is a very famous ink in the Hiro Shizuku line um, It is I would say it is on the Yeah, as Yamabudo should be So Yamabudo is literally as Yama is a mountain Budo will be grape, so it is a wild mountain creek. But some people will say it is a vine or something. So I have written quite a number of time with this pen and I have a pleasure carrying it around. The only problem is that it is not really uh the clip doesn't really want to go into the pen section of my pen uh, of my bag if you have not seen that what i can keep what pen can goes into the pen section of my bag you should look it up i think i will link it at the eye above okay so maybe i'll do a review one day about this pen do i find it writable do i find it a uh, pleasure to write but i know my main focus is the nib so it should be a pleasure to write with so do you have this pen if you do what oh did i mention i got it in medium yes i got it in medium and it does not write as a japanese medium this is more true towards in between um just a little bit finer than the western medium but it is really not the japanese medium that some people may associate with right now let's get back to the question do you own this pen if you do do you like it or have you sold it off or you don't sell it but you don't use it either okay so take care and i'll see you again in my next pen rambling till then bye bye